This short video gives an overview of how environmental efficiency can help you reduce your energy costs. But you may ask, how can you be confident that we can identify savings? We have carried out over 1,000 energy audits to date. Our average identified energy saving is 23%. Some of those savings were obtained at no cost, such as changes to settings or procedural changes. Others would have occurred a modest cost with paybacks under a year. Some savings may have had a longer payback. On average, the payback on all our energy audits was 15 months. OK, so how do we help you make the energy savings? We carry out an energy audit to make recommendations. All recommendations are based on best practice and backed up by independent case studies, many from the Carbon Trust. We look at your energy bills. We look at the relationship between weather and space heating fuel consumption and the relationship between energy and production, or occupancy in the case of a hotel. This can tell us how well controlled your energy consumption is and where to focus our efforts. Next, we visit the site. We examine all significant processes. We will ask, how well controlled are they? Are they best practice? Is there any waste? Is the equipment too large for the job? How others in the industry do it? And what should be the target energy consumption? In some cases, we would install data loggers to get an understanding of the energy use of large equipment. We may measure light levels or log temperatures. We then go off and do a lot of research and calculations and produce a report. The report will typically have between 15 and 20 recommendations. We can then present the recommendations at a site meeting and provide emails or telephone support for a 12 month period. So, what sort of savings are possible? Many of these will be no cost, yet case studies confirm that they will generate worthwhile savings. These savings may include getting staff to turn off idle equipment, implementing power save options on IT equipment, or widening the dead band on air conditioning controls, or reducing pressure on compressed air systems and reducing air changes on buildings. Whilst these are no cost recommendations, the savings can be significant. Savings with a payback of between 6 and 18 months can include installing variable speed drives, improved boiler controls, daylight harvesting, occupancy control of lights and maximum demand controllers. Again, these savings can be significant. Large savings with longer paybacks can include biomass boilers, rationalisation of steam generation or chillers and heat recovery. What is common with all these energy saving opportunities is that we base them on internationally accepted best practice. And we can back up our claims by reference to independent case studies, for example, those produced by the Carbon Trust or Sustainable Energy Authority of Ireland. And what are our qualifications? All audits are supervised by a chartered engineer who is also a founding member of MP, Ireland's leading professional body for energy management practitioners. And what standards are used for energy audits? Our audits follow BSEN 16247, the new standard for energy audits. So, if you want to reduce energy costs, please contact us, either by phone or by email.